These are magnetic level gauges, or some people call them bypass gauges. It's a very safe, simple, and reliable way to measure fluid level in a tank. It's especially safe for flammable, toxic, corrosive liquids, or liquids that may be at a very high pressure or temperature, like boiler water. The chamber is made of 316 stainless steel. We also make a 304 stainless steel or any other non-magnetic material. They can be made of kynar, PVC, hastaloy, whatever is compatible with your process. The chamber is connected to the vessel with these two process connections. On the top, a 300-pound lap joint flange, and on the bottom, 3,000-pound, one-inch welded coupling. Normally, they're both the same process connection, but for show and tell today, I'm just showing you the two different types of connections that we have. Inside the chamber is a float. This is our standard float. It's eight inches tall, and what I have is a float that I've cut in half so you can see the magnets inside the float. As the fluid enters the chamber, the float rises and falls with the fluid level. This is our standard indicator. It's a brightly colored birdie that you can see from over 50 feet away. The tube is filled with argon. It's hermetically sealed, so there's never any chance of condensation. And because the fluid never contacts the glass, if you break the glass, you don't lose any of the fluid. Frequently, these are used to replace sight glasses. You know, sight glasses are difficult to read, even if they're brand new. When they get a little corrosion or scale in them, they're almost impossible to read. And if you break a sight glass, you lose the fluid that's in the process. That won't happen with a magnetic level gauge. Our other indication is a flipper roller. These are the best flippers in the business. They can take very high temperatures and they change from silver to red as the fluid level rises. They've been tested up to 800 feet per minute on rising or falling levels, and they're absolutely bulletproof. The flipper is made of aluminum, rides on a stainless steel bearing surface, and there's a permanent ceramic magnet inside each flipper. All the welding on these gauges is done to ASME boiler code standards. The chamber itself is guaranteed for the life of the vessel it's attached to, and every single gauge is hydrostatically tested to one and a half times its maximum working pressure. Now, so far, all we've talked about is visual indication for the fluid level in the tank. Now, let's talk about some control options. On this PVC gauge, I have a level switch mounted. Now, the level switch mounts with just a hose clamp on the side of the chamber. Inside this assembly is a latching reed switch. And when the float goes by, it closes the switch. When the float goes the other way, the switch opens. So you can have a high level alarm on your magnetic level gauge. This does not penetrate the gauge. It just straps onto the outside of the gauge. And the beauty of that is, if the operator were to say that the switch is actuating at the wrong point, you don't have to shut the vessel down, cut a hole, repenetrate the vessel, and weld something on. You just loosen the clamp and you scoot it up or down wherever the proper actuation point should be. You can also add switches at a later date without shutting the process down. We also have a magnetostrictive transmitter that's available. Again, it straps onto the outside of the gauge and it's actuated by the magnets that are sealed in the float inside the float chamber. As the fluid level rises and falls, the magnetic field goes up and down this chamber and will give you a 4 to 20 milliamp output proportional to the level. The LTM100 is very easy to calibrate and super accurate. Its accuracy is 0.01% of full scale. To calibrate this unit is very simple. We have two push buttons in here. The bottom one is labeled down. It has two functions. The first is to wake up the unit and say, hey, I'm fixing to calibrate you. And then the second function of it is to set the 4 milliamp signal. So we momentarily push it to wake the unit up, and then we hold it until the output is 4 milliamps. Then we raise the fluid level in the tank, push the button once to wake it up, hit the up button 
until it reads 20 milliamps and then the unit's set. These dip switches will dampen the output in case you have a wave action. Because these gauges are custom made, we can configure them to any piping that you may have on your vessel. These units are also available with heat tracing, either electric or steam, and insulating blankets. We also have the capabilities of going into cryogenic services. Your Babbitt representative will be delighted to help you fill out a request for quotation form and get you an exact price on one of these, so put him to work or give us a call at the factory when we can be a service. Thank you.